Hello friends, welcome. And the first thing in this video, I'm going to change this required in the password when we edit the user. And if you go to the filament PHP and go to the tricks here, and just let's search for the password. And here we have an example, a hashing password field and handling the password updates from the then you have a password field like this and you want to hash the password when the form is submitted we call the date rate state using callback function and in the state and say hash make okay but you don't want to override the existing password if the field is empty and we call here the dehydrated if the field have state and also here for the required you want the required the password to be filled on the create page not on the edit but this need to be updated to this one so required add the function add the page here which is going to be the live wire the create page and if the live wire is instance of that create user in our case not create record but create user if that is okay it's going to be required otherwise it's not going to be required so let's copy this show here and let's open the vs code inside the app filament user resource here when we have a password after the password let's add this to and let's import the hash okay the class has imported and now let's add this to the, to the require so here when you have the required paste that in import the page and as i said this is going to come from the filament resources pages page and is create user now if this is create user is going to be required and let's see let's come here and let's refresh uh, first we need to save this one and now refresh yeah we don't see the oh, this is required but if i go to the users and let's click say new user and here is required the password we see the red asterisk here okay next uh go to the permission and go to the roles we have only one role and let's create a new role let's say for example writer okay and we redirected back as you can see we have here created as a notification if you don't like you can change that and also when we update so let's update this let's say updated save changes if you don't like to see the stay here and to see this notification you can change so we can redirect to the index and also change that uh, notification now for the notification we can go to the documentation here and resources so when you create creating records here we have a customizing the save notification and we can add this or if we create the records in a model we can just call this create action make and then change the success notification type in our case we use pages so let's copy this and let's navigate for the roles in the create role and paste this one and say for example role created instead of just save yeah let's go also on the edit role or in the permission create first and paste it here and let's say permission created here 
save, close this one, and the same thing in the user. I'm going to do, and let's say you is a registered. Okay, save. And as I said, we can do the same thing when we update. So let's go to the edit and paste this in here. Get redirect URL and get the URL index. Save, close on the edit of the role. The same thing. Save, close and on the edit of the permission. I'm going to do the same thing. Now, for the notification on the edit records, we can say get set, get save notification title, because in the create we said get created on the edit is get saved notification and let's say user updated or in this case is permission updated you can change what you like let's go to the role and let's say a role updated and in the user also user updated okay very good now if we go to the roles and let's update this and i'm going to remove this one and let's say save changes we say role updated and we redirect to the index very good and the same thing we can have for the permission so let's say uh for example create post create post like this say create permission created and we redirect to the index very good now with a filament you can edit almost everything so let's for example i want to have users up here then roles then permission so if you go to the navigation let's say get it started and here we have the navigation sort so let's copy this and i'm going to go in the user resource and up here i'm going to say a navigation sort and this is going to be the first one and also you can change the hero icons so for example here i'm going to add users or user group and if i come here and refresh as you can see we have users here and we have changed that uh, icon and this is using hero icon so if you go to the heroicons.com and for example let's change also the roles and permission and for the roles let's say i want uh i'm just going to pick some i think fingerprint yeah yeah i'm going to use that fingerprint so let's search for yeah fingerprint here so i'm going to copy this name and go inside the role resource and paste that here And for the permission, I'm going to use the key. Yeah, here we have key and let's go inside the permission resource and add the key. Now, also let's add the navigation sort. As I said, the users, I want to be up here, then, then roles, then permissions. So go to the role and add this one which is going to be two save go to the permission 
which is going to be 3. And now let's save this. And let's refresh. Yeah, we have users, roles, and permissions. We can group them all together if you would like. So, for example, let's go to the navigation and group navigation. We can add group all of them in these settings, for example. Let's say, and let's go here, save, and let's go here and save. And now refresh. We have here inside the settings, the users, roles, and the permissions. Okay, friends, so that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.